Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday, and I'm here to say EA Sports dropped the Renato Sanchez SBC or objective card today. All right, today is your day. It's a perfect opportunity. A space is opening up in the objective section, and it just would be a perfect place for that Renato Sanchez. So I want to talk about that today. And also, of course, we're expecting, expecting a new footies vote for one of our final footies voting SBCs, as well as the winning SBC player from our vote on Monday, which was between Thiago Mendes and Todibo. So first things first, though, we're hoping for this Renato Sanchez day because we are thinking that with an April foot favorite, footies favorite, right? This SBC came out on April 3rd earlier this year, one of the most highly completed one of the most anticipated SBCs of the year this foot birthday Renato Sanchez 13,000 almost 14,000 up votes on footbin this is the footies card we've wanted to see right we thought we might see it as a November footies favorite we we thought we might see it as a December footies favorite and now we are here our last possible chance for a Renato footies is this week and what better time to drop it after yesterday they confirmed the league one week in league plus we were all expecting it we knew it was coming and they confirmed it yesterday of course 7 and 12 and 15 wins for the extra player picks if you've got eight league one plus players in your starting 11 so again all the content this week has been pushed league one all the sbcs all the objectives we've had the atal that has been out for a while it's still out for three more days uh ea sports with this tonali going away today it would be an, a 100 percent best option in my opinion to drop footy's favorite renato sanchez right here okay just do it right here it's going to be club 90 of course it's going to be like 94 95 rated renato sanchez you know what? Make it a little bit of a grind. If you want to put it in milestones and do one of these Adama slash Atal grinds, be my guest, right? Put it in there too. But I think this is one of the last few days of the potential of a Renato objective slash SBC. So we're hoping for that today because uh, of that Tonali going away. And I think that they would release it as an objective. I mean, we've had the 87 Renato as an SBC. I guess we could have another SBC for uh, Renato, but I think an objective would be a little bit more, I don't know. I, I think it, I like an objective better, in my opinion, than an SBC for a guy like Renato like that. So that's just my opinion. But on the other side of things, one thing we are guaranteed to have today is the winner of this vote right here, Tiago Mendez and Todibo. And both of these cards could look insane based off of the upgrade that EA gives them. I voted for Todibo. I think Todibo is going to win. French center backs in this game, they always get a little bit extra hype, right? French center backs, I know we have Varane, we have uh, Ubmakano, we've got tons of different French center backs in this game, but especially this Todibo with the Nice link, which is a green link to a tall, I think that's going to push him through as the winner. Now, I could see Thiago Mendes winning 100% for that Neymar vote. I could see it happening, but I'm hoping hoping for Todibo. I think Todibo is going to take the cake here, but we will see, right? That SBC will be dropping today. And of course, in all of the SBCs we're getting, we hope that EA does not release them as super crazy long um, 10 squad requirements like a Bamiyang. We want something like Diada, right? We want easy. We want two SBCs. So whatever you drop today, EA Sports, whether it's Todibo or Thiago Mendes, Make it an easy SBC and don't make it too expensive, please. That is what we ask for. So that's the big two pieces of content that we're hoping for today is, of course, a Renato. But also, we're almost guaranteed that Thiago Mendes and a Todibo and some sort of other footies vote I would expect to see today, too. Now, I don't know if they're going to release a player SBC um, unless it would be uh, another footies favorite. But also, we've had Sissoko, right? And that was one of those, what, close calls a uh, footies close call, somebody who did not win the vote, but um, probably the most popular players of the, the votes that didn't win so far as a part of the footies promo. We could even have another one of those today. If there was any of those were league one, I'm trying to think and remember, but again, all the content this week is really league one focus. Now, one part of today, it's going to be very interesting is this SBC escapes us the 87 plus upgrade times 10 which a lot of people have been grinding myself included this goes away today at 6 p.m which will be a sad sight if it's not re-released now the 85 times 10 was of course 
uh, had an expiration date a couple weeks ago and they re-upped it for another week. So we're hoping that they do the same thing with this 87 times 10. The only thing that makes us a slight bit worried about that is that yesterday they released an 88 plus player pick SBC that is also repeatable. So I don't know if this was replaced to take the plate or this was released to take the place of this 87 plus times 10, or if it's just to give us another option. Regardless, GG's, this 88 plus player pick is a bit expensive. Again, as you look on Footbin, you can see here that people are not the most happy with it. It just, 85 rated squad, just a little, little, little bit too much. I think it's a little bit too much. I like the concept with this, but I feel like if it was an 85 rated squad, it needs to be a 90 plus player pick. Or if you're going to make it 88 plus, make that squad requirement about 83 and then even drop the chemistry. A lot of people were just not packing good stuff. Some people were getting some good stuff from this, but most of all, or most commonly, not very good pulls. 22% upvote, 78% downvote. That was our only new SBC that was released yesterday on Tuesday and then the weekend league plus those are the two things of content so hopefully there's going to be a little bit more today on Wednesday I think that there will be and I'm just curious to see if this 88 plus is supposed to take the place of this 87 times 10 I would love to do more of these I really would it's going to be it's great to craft guys like Sissoko guys like Gelson Martins and just to have high rated fodder in the club if Renato would come out as an SBC this 87 plus times 10 would be a great opportunity to help craft his SBC, depending on what his rating is when he comes out. So that's just kind of my thoughts on this. I hope it gets re-upped today. I think that it will. Although if it does go away, you're going to lose a lot of your demand, I think, for some of the lower rated golds. Some of the lower rated cards that are out are definitely going to drop in price with less demand being there. Now, of course, you'll still have the 81 plus player picks, but with a good set, of upgrade packs and a good set of uh, preview packs today on Wednesday as well. We've had pretty quiet preview packs the last couple days. We had decent preview packs on Monday that dropped the market a little bit alongside of the other content like the League One player pick that was released. Um, but if we have big time preview packs today, there could be some supply added into rewards, which would be interesting for some fluctuations on the market. Uh, but also it might drop some of those rare golds, which are still sitting on the market, I think at like 2000 plus per card. Let me check Amrabat right now. All right, these are dropping a little bit. Interesting. So they're, they're, maybe, they're maybe sliding under 2K. I bet these will rise up a little bit though today on Wednesday in the morning. Of course, as people do a last chance 87 times 10, that's one thing that I would expect to see today on the market on Wednesday. Um, but again, that 88 plus player pick yesterday didn't move the market too much. Again, if you want to trade right now in this game, it's it's absolutely possible. I'm just flipping a lot of stuff that is in packs. I flipped these cards yesterday. I flipped a couple more Cavani's, this Lukaku. I have some Griezmann's and, and Chiesa's from, from yesterday. Um, it's just a lot of people at 6 p.m. when the content comes out, there's a, a rush of panic for whatever SBC comes out. Um, and then a lot of those cards, even though they're in packs, you see some fluctuations on them. Now, I want to talk about the market a little bit as well as to what happened with some of these League One cards because, of course, a lot of people had invested in League One specials because they thought when this was going to go up, so were those cards. But we saw such a big rise on Sunday night into Monday morning. You guys remember the rises that we showed on yesterday's video of Verratti. We showed rises on um, Paredes as well. This Verratti was actually 230,000 coins early, early Monday, late Sunday night. He rose back. He rose all the way up to 270, went down to 250. Then yesterday when the Weekend League Plus arrived he was back to 270 but when those requirements actually came out everybody who had invested in these cards there was a little bit of panic selling because everybody expected the price to go up after that weekend link plus requirement was released but in all reality the actual demand was lower than the supply of people that have already invested so the undercuts kind of came in and some of these league one special cards actually dropped uh, Paredes was 90k. He went down to like the low 80s. Now kind of rebounding back up. I'm gonna check Marquinhos because that's another item that a lot of people I think. Wow, 62k. So he is still up a little bit, but he was he was 61,000 coins. Went down to 53 and is now back up to 62. Let me check Bamba as well, just for 
just for the sake of checking multiple cards. There was a lot of this that happened yesterday though. A lot of stuff was almost at its most expensive point right before content. And then when the actual objective was released, it dropped down because of that over investing, right? And that's, this is one thing that we're, we saw yesterday on a small scale, because I know a lot of you guys might not be trading the most at the moment, but this is a huge, huge thing as we head into FIFA 22. I know it's been a while since we've talked about over investing. We've talked about investing in general and, um, people uh, impacting the market by investing a lot in one player and seeing a, a big rise. Again, one thing that I've learned about FIFA 21, and this is definitely gonna carry over even more, especially since preview packs have been released and into FIFA 22, is that the quick flips are the way. The way this market is designed is again, to make you lose coins the longer that you hold cards because they just consistently release brand new content, which is supposed to make you wanna go after that brand new card, that brand new item, uh, whether it's an SBC or an objective or a player that is in packs, that's just how this game is crafted and designed by EA Sports. So um, holding on to cards long term like that and you know, having more of a longer term investment, unless it's for SBC fodder, is not something that works out all the time in this game. Now, sometimes it is with some live cards um, and with some other specific examples of maybe SBC fodder in this game that are out of packs like Team of the Weeks and, st and stuff. But for a lot of meta cards that people use on a week-in, week-out basis, quick flip trading is going to be the name of the game this next year with preview packs being so prevalent, I think. And of course, you're going to have to be knowledgeable and figure out when a lot of stuff has risen up in a very short amount of time and you've seen a lot of competition for people trying to snipe it at the 59th minute. And you just know um, when a lot of people would like to invest because you know what's coming and you know people are going to think along the same lines as you. You could say, hey, this is a good buy, but if you got to, you have to get in on that buy earlier so that you buy before everybody else buys, that kind of pushes the price up. And then depending on where that demand will be set at and where you think that price could go based off how much demand uh, when the actual event occurs that people are quote unquote investing for, you have to kind of figure it out. Am I going to take that profit beforehand and quote unquote sell in the hype or wait for that card to pot potentially rise more? as more demand comes. So we saw just a little bit of that with some of these cards. That's why I wanted to talk about Verratti and some of those League One specials that had a drop right after the content yesterday when it was technically confirmed that the League One uh, Weekend League was happening because that is something that will happen all of the time, especially in the beginning of FIFA 22. So just get used to seeing that, get used to kind of working around that, thinking that process through. You, it's not always easy to figure out, right? It's it's hard. It's hard to figure out because you don't always know where people are putting their demand in this game at any certain point in time. So that's the fun part of the market though, right? That's where it gets fun. That's where we figure things out, make coins or lose coins and have fun trying at the same time, right? And learning along the way. So I just want to talk about that a little bit in today's video as well. Speaking of fodder though, one real quick point, of course, yesterday with that 88 plus player pick, a lot of people went out and they did one. They've got high rated tots cards in the club. They combined one of those with some 81s, 82s, and 83s. And you know, even 84s and 85s went up a little bit yesterday. And now they've kind of come back down a little bit. But since that is a repeatable 88 plus, you're seeing a few more people do that. So some of these lower rated gold cards though, lower rated fodder, I still think could drop off a decent amount if that 87 times 10 goes away, even though the 88 plus is still out. I think some people will lose their motivation to grind just because instead of 10 cards in the SBC, you'll only be getting one from a player pick. So we'll see. I think that 88 plus player pick, if it was just cheaper and if it wasn't as heavy of a burden as an 85 rated squad, it'd be a lot easier to do and a lot easier to grind because you get four player pick options, which is decent. So again, that's what I'm expecting today. Hopefully Renato Sanchez, we're kind of uh, pushing that and willing that into existence, if you will. EA Sports, here are cries, drop the SBC or objective. Uh, but then also the winner of Todibo and Mendez, a new vote, maybe some sort of upgrade pack like an 86 plus or, uh, you know, some sort of upgrade pack like that could be on the docket for today as well. But that's what I'm expecting for Wednesday, boys. If you did enjoy this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.